To create a new project in Amberg Tunnel, go to File and New Project. This will open the Project Creation Wizard. Select Next and then enter a project name. Once you have entered a name, hit Next. Now we can add our sites to our project. In Amberg Tunnel we can have one or more sites in the project. I will add a site and call it East. And then I will go ahead and add a second site and call it West. Now I can add my tube headings or shaft headings to the East site. Note that these entries are optional at this point. We can always add this information afterwards. I will add a tube heading and call it Base Tunnel. And I will add another tube heading and call it Main Tunnel. I will hit Next and now I can enter information about the West Tunnel. For the moment I will not add any information here and hit Next. Now you can add customer information. I will go ahead and skip this. Finally we need to specify where we want to save our project data. I will browse to the desktop and create a new folder. Then navigate into this folder and select Save. Hit Next and Finish. Now we can review everything we just entered. At the root level of the project tree we can see the name of the project that we entered. Expand the construction node to see the sites you entered. In the project creation wizard I created two tube headings for this site and you can see them by expanding the node. If you right click on the tube heading you can delete it. If you right click on the construction site you can add a new tube or shaft heading or you can delete the site. To change any of the properties of the project, sites or tube or shaft headings simply click on the relevant element in the project tree and edit the value in the properties window. If you select the project you can change the project name. By selecting a site you can change the name add a comment, archive the site, set the visibility of the site in the overview and change the easting, northing and height location of the site label in the 3D overview. Likewise by selecting one of your headings in the project tree you have the same editable properties to that of the site. 